Well, good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, June 7th. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and this is Houston Happens. All right, is anyone else having one of those mornings? Let me tell you, before I even got to work, I feel like I had already lived an entire day the adventures of motherhood. So I don't know about you all, but I need a little boost to help get over the hump. And we have just the show for that. From Chad's Corner to Dean Richards and Jennifer Jolly is back with some tech tips to help our kids stay ahead in school this summer and so much more. So what do you say? Let's get this show started. Starting with today's top talker. So one pooch has a doggone long tongue. In fact, she has the world's longest tongue for a dog. You got to check this out. This would be Zoe. She is a three year old Labrador German Shepherd mix from Louisiana. Well, she just got claimed the Guinness World Record for dog with the longest tongue. Her owners you see there, Sadie and Drew Williams actually say her tongue has stuck out of her mouth since she was a puppy. So just how long is it? Sometime last year, we took her to the vet and they measured her tongue and we submitted everything and the tongue measured right at uh, five inches from tip of her snout to tip of her tongue and turns out she got it. She got the record. <laughs> I love it. Look at those licks. All right, so with her tongue measuring a whopping five inches long, that makes it longer, you all, than a can of Coke. Those are some extra slobbery kisses. Zoe takes the record from a three-year-old English setter called Bisbee from Tucson, whose tongue measures 3.74 inches. Fun fact. All right, from dogs to cats. Joining us today is Alex Johnson, an animal enrichment specialist for Purina, who is encouraging cat owners everywhere to become cat the kid. So thanks so much for waking up with us. Thank you for having me. So first and foremost, what is a cat advocate? That's a really great question. A cat advocate is someone who advocates for their cat's happiness, well-being, and health. So they're really going to want to carve out moments throughout the day where they're spending quality time together. And one of the best ways to spend this time is through play. And play can help stimulate our cats mentally and physically. It can help lower cortisol levels, which is closely associated to stress and anxiety, uh, influences brain development. But the most important thing for us as cat owners is it helps build communication with our cats. The more we play with them, the more we learn their cues and silent signals so we know what's okay and not okay during play and vice versa they learn our cues and silent signals um, so this is the more you play with your cat the more you're gonna know each other so are there some examples though of things you shouldn't do when playing with cats Yeah, so I'm sure you've seen a lot of these cat trends and challenges on social media that are asking pet owners to get a reaction from their cats. And this can be positive reactions, which is wonderful, but oftentimes this can be negative reactions triggered by ang getting your cat angry, frustrated, confused, or fearful. And this can be really detrimental to the relationship that we have built with our cats. As cat owners, it's a big struggle to really build that trust and, and, and bond with our cats. So to do something like that, it can be really damaging and take a big step back from our relationship. Um, and one of the ways that we can test to see if one of these challenges is okay or not okay to do is to ask ourselves, we do this with a small child or to a small child. And do you have any ways that you can encourage interactive play? Yeah, so I encourage pet owners to really dedicate 15 minutes a day to undivided attention. And we're going to want to seek our pets out during this time if they're not already up and moving around or seeking us out. And uh, one way we can get them in the mood to play if we find them sleeping somewhere is we can use Frisky's Playfuls that is uh, a, a cat treat that was designed to roll and causes irregular motion, which gets them visually stimulated and then they're up tasting it and then they're ready for more, hungry for more activity. I love it. Now, cats, they're very temperamental in my experience. So what if my cat shows signs that they're really just not feeling like playing right now? Yeah, so we talked a little bit about how, how to engage them in play if they're not already ready for it. But when we are playing with them, we're going to want to 
always remember to pay attention to their body language. What are the cues that they're giving us? How are their ears, eyes, tail, back positioned? Um, and if we're feeling that they're showing us signs that they're stressed or um, are, are starting to become more aggressive, we're going to want to pause or stop play completely until they're feeling more comfortable and confident. Um, and then if they're doing something that's bothering us or, or is not okay, then we're going to want to uh, pause and allow, allow some time for them to understand that this is not okay. All right. Well, where can we go for more information about Frisky's Playfuls? Yeah, so you can go to purina.com slash frisky slash cat dash treats. Well, we have some cat lovers here, so I know they're very excited to hear all of this info. Thank you so much. And stay tuned, someone who is always ready to play around, Chad. It's time for Chad's Corner. That and more after the break. Can't escape justice. She was gonna get me. What'd you do? I hid. <laughs> Judge Mattis. Next on CW 39 Houston. The fresh timer starts the minute a tomato gets picked. That's why at Kroger, we shorten the time from harvest to home. So no matter how you shop, you'll have more time to enjoy your fresh produce. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Anyway! 104.1 KRBE. Home of the Ruland Ryan Show, morning 6 to 10. Right. It's about damn time. This is where Houston's hit music lives. Alexa, play KRBE. Houston's number one hit music station, 104.1 KRBE. Of all the places to buy a new mattress, why choose rooms to go? That's easy. The same reasons millions of you trust us for your furniture. Our amazing selection, affordable prices, and a helpful sales team that will find you the perfect mattress at the perfect low price. From top brands like Tempur-Pedic, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, and Kingsdown, to mattress in a box brands like Nectar, Purple, and Casper. Sleep well and save money on your new mattress from rooms to go, a name you can trust. Want a flatter, tighter tummy? Check out new Ab EX from Sonobello. Doctor, after my pregnancies, my body never bounced back. It's not your fault. That stubborn fat and excess skin is extremely hard to get rid of. Introducing Ab EX from Sonobello. Remove fat and lose excess skin permanently in just one visit. When I finally got the flat stomach I had always wanted. Schedule your free consultation and get $250 off. Call or go to Sonobello.com. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, it's easy. Go to ForThePeople.com and go to Verdicts and Settlements to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan, For The People. He's a decorated U.S. veteran and a former high-ranking intelligence officer at the Pentagon. And now he's blowing the whistle on something extraordinary. What is the truth about UFOs? He talks to News Nation, Sunday at 9, 8 central. When you download the Kroger app, you have easy access to savings every day and get personalized coupons sent straight to your phone. Save big today when you download the Kroger app. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Well, if you watch us every week, you know Wednesdays are exciting because it's time for our friend Dean Richards. Right before the weekend, he actually tells us what's coming to streaming platforms. So here's Dean with more. We're finally seniors, and honestly, I think we're doing pretty great. No. For new streaming series this week, the final season of the hit Netflix high school comedy, Never Have I Ever, begins streaming tomorrow. Follow a gang of friends in their senior year as they prepare for college. What did you do? This wasn't a random shooting. He's hiding something. On Apple TV Plus this week, there's the mystery series, The Crowded Room, featuring Spider-Man's Tom Holland playing a young man accused of murder and Amanda Seyfried as the detective interrogating him. See, it's starting Friday. Starting tomorrow on Peacock, Kaylee Cuco and Chris Messina star as a couple who start their own podcast to track down a neighborhood serial killer. The dark comedy is called Based on a True Story. Crime fighting fish and game warden Joe Pickett is back for season two. See it now on Paramount Plus. And starting Friday, Julia Stiles' family squabbles continue for a second season of the comedy The Lake on Amazon Prime.
One of the biggest box office hits of all time finally comes to streaming. Catch Avatar The Way of Water, streaming now on Disney Plus and on Max. I'm the guy who helped bring the world the most popular snack it's ever seen. On Hulu and Disney Plus, there's the original film Flamin' Hot, about a janitor who unexpectedly came up with the spicy idea of Flamin' Hot Cheetos. This Eva Longoria directed feature begins streaming on Friday. Thousands of people screaming. Arnold, Arnold, Arnold. For new documentaries this week, from bodybuilder to action star to the governor, Arnold tells the life story of the one and only Arnold Schwarzenegger. See it on Netflix now. Tomorrow on Netflix, there's Tour de France, Unchained, looking at the blood, sweat, and tears involved in trying to win the biggest race in cycling. And finally, for the kids, the Peanuts Gang is back for a third season of the animated hit, The Snoopy Show. See it on Apple TV Plus starting Friday. Well, I'm sure a lot of kids are having extra screen time right now. You know, school is out for summer. That means fun, sun, and that dreaded summer slide. That's when kids lose as much as one fifth of what they learned during the last school year. Well, friend of the show, tech life expert Jennifer Jolly is back with five top tips, tricks, and child specific gadgets to help your kids out this summer and beyond. Thanks so much for waking up with us as always. <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you so much for having me. Let's start with tip number one, terrific tablets. You know, for millions of kids, a tablet is one of the very first devices they use to explore the digital world. So you need to find one that's affordable and built from the wires up just for kids. My main picks here, the Amazon Fire 7 Kids for ages three to seven, or the Fire HD 10 Kids Pro for ages six and up. Why? They're affordable, but even more importantly, they're great for learning on the go plenty of storage and up to 10 hours of battery life. Why you might ask, are these better than say just sharing your adult iPad? Well, I talk a lot about training wheel technology. Just like you teach your kids to ride a bike or swim or eventually drive a car, you have to start with the basics. You have to teach and guide them and then take off the floaties, the training wheels, take down that student driver sign as they mature, grow and get more capable of self-regulation and making healthy choices. All of these devices come with a year free Amazon Kids Plus. That's that built-in suite of intuitive parental controls, age-appropriate kid-focused content, zero ads, zero access to social media or adult sites, and you can set time limits. You can easily check in on them, use that parent dashboard to fine-tune, adjust, even set educational goals like the Learn First feature, so they have to do some math or some really important reading before they can move on to any entertainment. Speaking of reading, it is one of the top skills that tends to slip over summer. So snag an e-reader like the Kindle Paperwhite Kids. This has up to 10 weeks of battery life. There's no glare. It looks like real paper, even in the sunlight. And it comes with a kid-friendly case, nice waterproof design. That's awesome. And Amazon told us that when a child sits down with their Kindle, they read on average more than an hour a day. Tons of parents don't realize these adorable kid-specific speakers can actually help your kids learn too. These are the Echo Dot Kids or Echo Show Kids 5. They are packed with features, including podcasts, more than 2,400 episodes specifically for kids as part of that Amazon Kids Plus. This includes favorites from the Wondery, Kids, and Family Network, like Wow in the World, hours of learning. And then if you haven't already seen these, I've talked about them before, check out Readyland Books. These are books that interact with and come to life with your kids and Alexa. You can talk with the characters, play games, sing songs, do all kinds of uh, find what's missing or what's in this photo and on this page. These are a huge, huge hit. And apps, parents always say, hey, what apps are great for education for kids? Amazon Kids Plus comes free for a year on all of these devices. That automatically delivers learning grades that are so fun and engaging that kids won't even realize that they're educational too. I'm talking the OGs like Disney, Sesame Street, PBS Kids, CodeSpark, Toka Lab. So many more to tell you about. So be sure to stop by my website at techish.com for more details. Back to you. Thanks so much, Jennifer, for schooling us. Now, we are about to get schooled when it comes to sports. It is Wednesday, and you know what that means. It is time for Chad's Corner. No one puts Chad in a corner, except for me.
I mean, you make an exception. That's All right, my exception. friend. We have a lot to get to. First things first, you were out at Texans OTAs yesterday. Yes, I did. They were wrapping up OTAs this weekend, uh, hearing from uh, the head coach, D'Amico Ryans. Things are going well positive. Let's hear from him. Yes, yeah. yeah, so what I've seen from our team overall, I've seen growth. Right, from where we started to where we are now in this third week, it's the growth, and that's what that's what excites me about working with, you know, a new group of guys coming together, young veteran guys, and just seeing those guys come together in such a short period of time, and to see how they've grown from week one to week three, you know, that's all that that's the goal that we were hoping for, and to see them go out and compete today. We had a couple, you know, just team periods, everybody off the field, just competitive football, and to see those guys operate communicate right make plays on both sides it's just fun to see you know iron sharpening iron yeah they really so you you hearing how they're really he's really happy how the team's competing teams really going at it and you know going out there and i can see that competition going out there a lot of the uh, former texans were out there like andre johnson was out there watching the team work and you see the, the team starting to come together St they still have a lot of work you know cj stroud still was working these some things done but i think you're seeing the team beginning to form together and i think you'll see we have mini camp coming up and then of course when we get to, f to fall camp and everything we'll see this team come together i think we're going to see a pretty decent the team at least a good effort and then we'll see how it goes when the season goes but it's I think refreshing to actually be excited about the Texans I like that there's yes. some excitement quick question is is D hop coming back that's gonna be an iffy question I mean they, they asked about it you know D'Amico said hey I would love to have him back but uh you know money talks right now and it's definitely got to see where he want his best fit right now and he's got there's a lot of teams that would love to have DeAndre Hopkins back with him so we'll have to see all right now we have to see about my nuggets <sighs> it, was, it wasn't pretty. Game two, yeah. now game three tonight. Game three tonight. There, it's in Miami. Uh, you guys see what uh, Jimmy Butler's going to do. Shout out to Tom Ball. Um, that their series now moves shifts to Miami. You know, and the Heat have a little bit of advantage now. Uh, they got they may get t uh, Tyler Hero back for the series. He won't be back for Game three, but he may come back uh, for possibly Game four or five. Uh, but you got to look at what the Nuggets are doing. You know, they need somebody like Jamal Murray to step up. He's kind of you know Nikolai Jokic kind of carrying the team a little bit. Needs some other players to step up for them. All right. Well, you said Nuggets and five. You still feel that? I'm, I'm confident Nuggets and five, but if Harrow comes back and adds another shooter to mention, I may have to move it up to maybe Nuggets and seven. Oh, I don't like that. Hey. I'm still rooting for my Nuggets. I, 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 I mean, the Heat, though, I mean. Heat are, heat are really playing at a tough uh, a tough level. They're really a team that just, just says, we don't care what, what record you are. We're going to go out and try and beat you. All right. Now, I told you, golf has never been so exciting and mm. dramatic. So tell us about this golf. Man, I mean, <laughs> this came out of the clear blue. I mean, uh, 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 basically what the PGA decided that we're, hey, we're going to end up merging with Live Golf. They're going to end up making the deal of working it together. I mean, it's, it totally came out of nowhere, caught a lot of golfers by surprise, caught a lot of everybody by surprise. But uh, at least the good thing is that Live Golf will end up finishing the year with their tournament, and, you know, the rest of 2003. So you'll be able to see the rest of the, the Live Golf uh, tour here on CW39 the rest of the year. And we'll see how it goes for 2024. All right. All eyes on that. Well, as always, it was a pleasure being in Chad's corner. I always Absolutely. love having you on the show. It always makes <laughs> my Wednesdays more exciting. So thank you for that, my friend. Oh, no problem at all. All right. So now we're going to talk a little bit money. Oh, yes. Let's Gotta talk, talk about, about some money. And Gotta get some of that. Yes. Yeah. We don't have that <laughs> athlete money, right? But did you know that corporate bankruptcies just hit their highest level since 2010? And 340,000 UPS workers are voting whether to authorize a massive strike. Mm. Jane King is at the NASDAQ with those stories and more in today's Morning Business Report. Good morning. Hundreds of thousands of UPS workers this week could authorize a strike that will bring the world's biggest package carrier to a standstill. Of course, this comes as Americans become more reliant on delivery. A nationwide UPS strike would be the largest work stoppage in U.S. history. Results of that union vote will be announced June 16th. Well, the U.S. is said to be in a cardboard recession. In other words, the demand for cardboard boxes is down, and that has preceded recessions in the past. 
A downturn could mean a drop in inflation. Well, stocks did close higher yesterday. The S&P 500 now just a few points away from a bull market. And there were 54 corporate bankruptcies in the U.S. in May, bringing this year's total to 286. That's going to S&P Global Market Intelligence, and that is the highest number of corporate bankruptcies in the U.S. since 2010. This year's bankruptcies include Party City, Serta Simmons, and the parent of Silicon Valley Bank. Well, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission is urging parents and caregivers to stop using boppy newborn loungers. It's a pillow for infants after two more babies died after the agency issued a recall in 2021. The loungers pose a risk of suffocation for if the babies uh, happen to roll, move, or be placed on the lounger in a position that obstructs breathing. From the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King with your morning business report. In the next 30 seconds, 250 couples will need to make room for a nursery. 26 people will go all in. This family will get two bathrooms. And finally, one vacationer will say, Yeah, whew, I'm going to live here. But as the euphoria subsides, the realization hits. i got to sell the house. Don't worry. Just sell and buy in one move when you start with Open Door. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Start with an all-cash offer at opendoor.com. It's your journey. Own every mile in the Hyundai Santa Fe with America's best warranty. Right now, get 0% APR financing on the 2023 Hyundai Santa Fe. Visit your local Hyundai dealer today. It doesn't take much to turn a small outdoor space into something more. Rooms to go patio makes it easy. With an incredible selection of stylish, quality outdoor furniture designed to fit your space and your budget. Whether you need a single piece or an entire set, you can easily find everything your outdoor space needs at a price you want. So relax, entertain, or create that perfect outdoor escape you've always wanted. I'm Julianne Huff, and this is what's possible at Rooms to Go Patio. I'm Alex Garcia with Volkswagen Cypress at our new location just off 1960. Interest rates keep rising, but don't worry. During our rate cut sale, we're cutting rates in half. Get 3.9 for five years on any new car. And we have as low as 1.9 on used cars. Get the car you really want, like the Jetta, Tiguan, Taos, Atlas, or ID4 EV. Volkswagen Cypress is where good things happen. Come check us out at VWCypress.com. Hi, I'm Eric Dick. I think it's important to know that you had the right to hire an attorney. If your home insurance claim has been denied or underpaid, call me right now at 877-7-FREEZE. That's 877-7-FREEZE. Don't be a victim twice. Call me today at 877-7-FREEZE. Call the Dick Law Firm at 877-7-FREEZE. Get Come and Take It on Amazon. Enjoy working outside while making your own schedule? CW39 is immediately hiring a part-time maintenance specialist, which includes all lawn care. Rate of pay is $17.50 per hour. Please scan the QR code or go to CW39.com to apply. Well, World Blood Donor Day is June 14th, and it's a day to celebrate blood donors and raise awareness about the importance of a safe and stable blood supply. So YouTube star Dr. Mike, a board-certified family medical physician and social media influencer, is joining us for more. Thanks so much for waking up with us, doctor. Thank you so much for having me. Really excited to talk about an important concept at a crucial time. Yes, it's really important. So what factors are affecting the national blood supply and why is it important to donate, especially this summer? Well, Maggie, we always want to have a, have a safe and stable blood supply. It's of utmost importance to our patient population. But specifically in the summer, we tend to see a drop off in donations. And that's incredibly problematic. Um, people like to go on vacation, which is actually a good thing. As a doctor, I recommend folks to take a vacation from work. But what I don't want to see happening is people taking a vacation with blood donations. We need these blood donations, and we want to encourage them across all age groups, especially younger demo. We want to see those under the age of 30 come back to donating blood. We've actually seen a drop off in the last 10 years by 30% those under the age of 30 to donate blood. 
and Abbott and Blood Centers of America have continued this partnership with me to encourage the younger generation to make use of this new mixed reality experience and get people excited about it. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about this new mixed reality experience. So, Maggie, I'm a tech nerd, and I find this to be really cool. You put on this headset during the blood donation experience, and it's almost a virtual reality, but it's meaning that it's mixed reality. You can still see your eyes throughout. The so it's a safe process. The staff blood center donation sites will help you. They'll be able to monitor you. And the whole time, you're in immersive experience playing the game. You're a little distracted during the little stress that you're going under when you're doing the uh, experience. I find this really cool. I really enjoyed this. I went through with it. And I really hope the younger generations enjoy it as much as possible. I love it. And it would distract me from the needle because that's what made me nervous about all of this. So what? where can donors actually try out this technology and learn some more? Yeah, Maggie, all they have to do is visit be the one donor.com slash mixed reality. Uh, they actually have location sites in Houston that are available. And we want to have everyone go register, take the pledge to donate blood and check out a site near you. Well, you heard doctor's orders. Now, what else should potential donors know about the experience? Well, the reason why we're so passionate about talking about blood donations is because we actually need blood for blood transfusions every two seconds in this country. We need them for burn victims, accident victims, cancer patients, those having pregnancy complications. So by taking something as short as an hour, a lunch break, you could potentially be saving a life and you could actually make an appointment to donate more than one six times a year, you too can be. Well, doctor, thank you so much for your time this morning. I really appreciate you. Maggie, thank you so much. I appreciate you and as always stay happy and healthy. Thank you very much. And everybody go out and donate. And before we wrap today's show, here is a look at today's sponsored content. And of course, we will see you back here tomorrow morning, same place, same time, for more Houston Happens. We're already cooking up a great show for you. In the meantime, enjoy this Wednesday, and bye for now.